It's not gonna matter. We are all going to know. Everyone, A to Z. Many Christians believe that when the Jews embrace their Messiah in Christian eschatology, they actually portray that Messiah as a false Messiah. Right. Now, something that had not occurred to me before, because when you're talking about, you know, our eyes are going to be open, I, I'm wondering if people's eyes are going to be open, because I think when, when we talk about the nations coming against Israel, of course, I, I think that most Christians would want to believe that they were on the side of the nations that were not, or that they weren't coming against Israel, that they would be siding with Israel. And I'm thinking, when the Mashiach appears, and as the Jewish people begin to recognize him as the Mashiach, Christians are going to have to make a decision at that time. Because in their books, they will carve him up as the Antichrist. He will not be the Messiah in, in their minds. Right. And so, how could they then side with Israel, or support Israel, if Israel is embracing, in their minds, the Antichrist? Well, they probably just will have figured that, well, we, we tried our best, we tried to convert them as, as best we could, we got a, a number of them, uh, and that's, you know, that's, this is where the game ends, game over. Uh, we weren't able to get them all. Well, well, it, I, I understand that they're still. I mean, they're still going to be waiting. They're still mm -hmm. going to be anticipating the second coming when this happens. And when I look at the political situation right now, and that many many Christians throughout the world are, they, they're not really happy with the way that the leadership of many of these nations are now treating Israel, but that's because they have their own messianic aspirations, because they see that the establishment of the state of Israel as part of prophecy and so on, but once the Mashiach appears, what are they going to do in relation to Israel at that time? I, I, like, I'm, I'm, I, I'm just thinking through just the logical end of this, and I realize that this is kind of a slight diversion but we are the reason why we're doing these shows is we're trying to to we're trying to portray what the Tanakh, what the Hebrew scriptures reveal about the messianic era and and what we are truly expecting based on what the scriptures show us. And there is a repeating theology out there that says that the one who would bring about these changes, as we read about them in prophecy, according to the, compete, uh, the competing theology, they are uh, that this person is in fact the antithesis; that he's the ultimate evil, not the ultimate good. And they will have to make a decision at that time about whether or not their theology is correct because if these prophecies begin uh, being fulfilled and they have the opportunity to see with their eyes and hear with their ears they will have to make a decision about the truth of their own doctrines and their own ideas well that's uh, an interesting thought on the other hand they may actually say that oh the, the Jews are embracing their Messiah, that's actually Jesus. And they'll stand up on the, on the podium and say, see, I told you. <laughs> so, you're either with me, and if you're not with me, you're against me. There is no middle of the road. It's, it'll be decision-making time. It doesn't matter who you are, you know, whether you know, he tells us, whether it's the least of us to the greatest of us. It's not going to matter. We are all going to know. Everyone, A to Z.